Good morning. Happy Monday. Back to another week, y'all. I have to admit, I am very tired today. If I sound funny, it's because I've got some kind of like talking loud all last week for teaching allergy combo going on. It is absolutely insane. Outfit of the day before I forget because I was so horrible with it last week are just some khakis I got from Old Navy. This is an embroidered shirt for work and some Converse because this girl did not feel like getting dressed. This hair, y'all, I get so many compliments on this hair, but this is like uh, Nicole doesn't want to do her hair day. And that is just when I braid it wet over the weekend and then I let it get all naturally wavy. My hair is naturally wavy if I do that. And then I just scrunch it up and make like beachy hair. But this is like no effort whatsoever. Today is the first day of the keto exercise challenge by keto coach so they're doing another challenge and I'm super excited about it I'm kind of worried though because I usually don't work out five days a week so this challenge is we are going to be testing our ketone levels right before we exercise we're going to exercise we're going to like take a picture of what our exercise was and then we're going to take our ketones after we exercise just to show you like the before and after and how exercise does affect your ketones we've talked about that before I'm usually just you know two to three days per week for exercising this is a five day challenge so we're supposed to be exercising at least 20 minutes for five Five days in a row that's gonna be a challenge for me honestly because I have so much going on as y'all know and today we're already starting off with a challenge because I'm not going to the gym as I usually do on Mondays because the hubby has a side job today so I have to get both boys and have to figure out how we're going to work out with both boys I have some ideas but it's gonna be a challenge hope y'all are out there and y'all are being good to yourself because I am seeing so many of y'all be so down on yourself and I mentioned this in last week's vlog as well but y'all are just really really being super crazy Critical. And what I want to say is that if you know you're doing everything keto, if you're making right keto or right healthy options, y'all, please enjoy yourself if that makes sense. So over the weekend, especially like, don't be so hard on yourself. Let loose a little bit, live life. This is a lifestyle. If you're going to be so restrictive and so critical, y'all, it is going to be treated as a diet. And we all know how those diets have worked for us in the past. Definitely treat it as a lifestyle y'all, because we do, we're living life. We're around people. They're all living their sad diets, right? Their standard American diets. And we're going to be around and exposed to that. I'm not saying cheat at all. I'm not saying go towards that. What I'm saying is when you're at a gathering, you know, eat an extra keto snack, you know, go ahead and eat some extra fats on your car manager or whatever the case may be and enjoy yourself. Live life to the fullest and don't have any regrets and don't think, man, I wish I really would have done that or enjoyed myself or beat myself up about what I ate today. Live life. This is a lifestyle. Live it embrace it love it lunch today i'm so excited about you should have already seen this on foodie by now but this is keto enchilada so this is just something super basic and what it is y'all it's basically you know some lunch meat whatever lunch meat you want to use that has cheese inside of it and then i could not find an enchilada sauce for the life of me that was in that was low carb or good ingredients y'all let me know if there's one down below but i just use some taco bell sauce pretty much and then put cheese on it so i'm gonna zap this in the microwave i know how much y'all love the microwave but look i got my glass container y'all i'm being good don't hate on me and it's gonna get all melty and good oh my gosh and then i've got another one of those adele's sausages we put some on the grill with steaks this weekend so i'm trying to eat those up that's the last of the ones from costco those, those things lasted forever y'all if you're thinking about buying those they are a little pricey but they're definitely worth it so yes i cannot wait to dig into this oh yeah y'all look at all that cheesy goodness it's going down so tested my ketones prior to working out and it is 0.3 and 0.5 and above is technically ketosis so I am not worried about this number y'all I will test my ketones after I work out as well that's what the challenge is and they're probably gonna be lower just letting you know but if I test my ketones like later at night after I've eaten dinner I have not eaten since 11 30 and it's five o'clock so what I explained last time is your body is going off of any ketones you have that is your energy source and I have not had anything to eat in since 11 30 so that's why my ketones have been reading really low here lately because of when I'm testing if I were to test prior to me eating lunch you would see that I have like a high number so it's just weird for me but it's gonna be even lower after the fact so let's get to working out no there ain't no stopping us fly without boarding pass couldn't catch me I'll be moving fast 
making pulled pork pizzas so I'm making one pizza for me and this is the outer aisles crust the cauliflower crust we really like these I already went ahead and crisped it up put some alterna sweets barbecue sauce on it gonna put my pulled pork from Costco on here and some cheese and then I made just some cheese pizzas for the kids so there's the pulled pork went in with a little bit of mozz went in a little bit with some cheddar and some parsley cheese and maybe drizzle some more on top. That was just one tablespoon of Alterna Sweet. So let's get this bad boys melted. Here we go. Yummo. So testing ketones after working out. About to eat dinner. Point one. <laughs> so as y'all can see, I have not eaten anything, but I worked out and now they have lowered. So this just goes to show to prove the theory that if you are using energy and using your ketones, it's going to lower your ketone level here on the monitor. But that doesn't mean that you're not doing everything right and that you're not technically in ketosis, if that makes sense. OK, so don't get discouraged about this monitor if you are not getting enough fat in your system, depending on when you're testing, if you're working out, it's all about when, guys, all about when. So we talked about sweeteners last week, and I definitely think that I have like an addiction to the artificial sweetener. It definitely makes you crave sweets is what I'm trying to say because every night after dinner, even though I'm full, I'm craving something sweet. And I know if I went more protein that I wouldn't be having those cravings. So y'all definitely let me know down below if you would be down for like a week-long carnivore challenge like I really want to do that coming up soon and I really want y'all to be on board with me on that and us do it together and see how it makes us feel so that will be coming up soon we're going to do a carnivore challenge um, in the next month or two I'm going to be having a cinnamon smart cake the smart cakes are my jam when I'm out of carbs for the day I'm at my 20 net carbs already so these are zero net carbs and also we're going to be topping it with the just made keto buttercream frosting because it's zero net carbs too so that's my go-to if I've met my net carbs but I want something sweet there you have it, y'all. So freaking good. I did zap it in the microwave for like 10 seconds to warm it up. Delicious. Yes. Oh, epic fail. You see what we go through behind the scenes? I didn't even get to take my Instagram picture. What a shame. But I'm just eating one. I saved the other one for the next night. <sighs> what is our life? Good morning, happy Tuesday. So outfit of the day real quick because y'all know I've got mom brain and I will forget. This dress is from Old Navy. I got the end of this past year and the earrings are from Walmart. I recently got, I mentioned them in a vlog. Shoes are from Forever 21. Breakfast this morning, y'all, so good. I love eating the damn berries. Y'all know the damn berries are my jam and this girl's not giving them up. That's why we say eat the damn berries. Nothing wrong with them, y'all. Those three huge blackberries that y'all saw are one net carb and freaking amazing. And the strawberries too. I'm all about that life. That yogurt, y'all ask me all the time with the YQ versus the Too Good. It just has more protein and it has one less carb and I think it's got one less gram of sugar in it. So I like it because it's just got more protein in it. It is plain. It has zero flavor. So I add a little bit of Jordan skinny syrup. I mean like a little smidgen or I put like a nut butter in it and it's delicious. I love, love having the parfaits in the morning. They are my jam and y'all know eggs. Gotta have them. One thing I have not talked about, like what is our life? Why didn't I mention this yesterday? The coffee. I got this new coffee from Rouse's. They had all their K-Cups on sale for $4.97, any brand. I mentioned that. I think I'm going to go back today and get more because the sale's over tomorrow. I just can't live without this. This is PJ's Coffee, which is local to us, and it is Southern Wedding Cake. Enough said. Okay, y'all know I love me some freaking birthday cake, wedding cake. I'm all about that life, and that stuff legit tastes like wedding cake. Like when you go to a wedding and a legit New Orleans wedding cake with the almond flavor in your mouth and your coffee. 
OMG, it is so freaking good. And I have been thoroughly enjoying it as an iced coffee, especially. So I'm like, girl, you better get back up in there and get that because it's originally priced $9 for 12K cups. Hex to the no. Y'all can probably hear my voices going out. I don't know what's going on. It's with yelling all day. And I say yelling, y'all, but I have to talk loud. 30 junior high kids and we're all in a confined room but you say stuff five times and they still didn't hear you because they don't listen so this girl talks extra loud so i can try to get the point across but that doesn't help so i don't know why i even bother this is day two of the exercise challenge by keto coach so y'all saw last night we tested ketones my levels were low but I think I am not, and I am getting enough fat according to my car manager, but not spread out throughout the day. So by the time I get to my workout or the evening, I am spent. I've used all my energy. I eat at 1130 because that's when I have lunch. And then it is not until four or five o'clock, six o'clock until I eat dinner again and haven't eaten a snack. So I am out of fuel in the tank by the time that rolls around. I'm on my feet all day as a teacher. I'm burning calories continuously out the day. I need to remember that. So if you're in the same boat, if you're like you're a nurse, or if you're a teacher, whatever your profession is, and you're on your feet all day, you're burning energy. So if you're not replenishing that and getting the tank full, you test your ketones, they're probably going to be low because you've reserved and used all that energy, which is your ketones. So that's why my ketones were low. And then yes, after you work out, y'all, you will always, always have a lower reading because you have went through that energy to burn through your workout. It just makes sense scientifically, right? So I did bring a nut butter today to eat maybe before my workout that's got high fat in it to kind of energize me and get me through the day. But don't be surprised with my ketone levels. They've been low since I started work back. Honestly, my levels were hella high over the summer when I tested. But since starting back work and being on my feet, my levels have been super low. Get discouraged out there. We got this. Day two of the challenge. We're actually going to the gym today and we are going to kill this five day challenge. I usually only do two to three days. So this is a challenge for me and I am up for the challenge and super pumped about it. Lunch today. I'm super excited. I've had this before. This is the pulled pork dip for two from the Southern Keto Cookbook. Again, I'm using all of that pulled pork from Costco. Such an amazing deal. So many meals you can make for that on the cheap. You can definitely do keto on a budget, y'all. You could spend $10 and eat on that all freaking week. And then I made some jalapeno poppers for the first time. I'm going to give those a try. Those are like three net carbs though, because the jalapeno peppers actually have carbs in them. So if they're not like the best, I'm not going to eat them going thus forward because I don't want to waste my carbs on something that's not super delicious. If that makes sense, I know I'm stupid. And then I've got some cucumbers sliced up to dip with my pulled pork versus pork rinds, just because they are lower in fat and literally no carbs. And I love cucumbers and it's a vegetable to get in versus pork rinds. And then I mentioned, I have that nut butter that I'm probably going to eat pre-workout just so we can have some energy going forward so looking forward to this and yes guys that's a lot of dip and that is one portion thank you jesus it's three o'clock and that means it's snack time i was going to go in with a nut butter y'all but i think i'm going to go in with a chocolate chip cookie dough bar because it's got about the same macros and it just sounds freaking awesome and then we are going to go in today with a blue res bang come on girl get me through i got a headache y'all i'm hoping this helps with the caffeine testing my ketones pre-workout 0.5 we are finally in ketosis for once in our life around here meaning that i didn't use as much energy or that fat that i had it definitely helps me guys it definitely boosts my energy level and my ketones so i definitely think i'm gonna have to start eating a three o'clock like fat bomb because i am draining my energy throughout the day as y'all been seeing with these ketones and they have been low since i've tested them from going back to work and it's just craziness i am burning so much energy so yes Gonna check them afterwards. How we get out the gym? Let's hit it. There is no issue I can face. Not a single problem that I want to raise. Being in the process is a lifelong game. I play it to the fullest. You can call me insane. Let's just bury them now because there's no coming back from that. Go to exhaustion, y'all. Exhaustion. Now keep asking me how many sets and reps. I just go now until my arms are trembling and I feel like they're going to fall off my body. That tells me I've done enough. Take a little pause. I come back and I do some more. Again, I try to do that three times. So exhaustion, rest, 
go two more times and then I move on to a new type of exercise. Oh, it was hella crowded up in that gym. So like I say, when I go into the intimidation zone, I can't get any shots. I didn't do bar today. I just did free weights. I like to switch it up and do free weights sometimes, do bars, switch it up. Your body gets used to exercises, y'all. So definitely try to switch it up because you will not gain muscle. You won't build muscle if you keep doing the same exact exercises with the same exact poundage every single week. So definitely change it up. I just feel so much better when I get out of the gym. That's what I tell y'all. I know I sound like a broken record, but just drive your behind to the gym. You will thank me later. If you're at home, get up and do something. Go and walk for 10, 15 minutes. We are on this keto exercise challenge. I was up in the gym for more than 20 minutes for sure, but that is the challenge to exercise for five days straight for at least 20 minutes. And I just feel so much better. However, these allergies have got me, girl. Y'all hear this? Between talking as a teacher and then having this crud in my chest with allergies, it's killing me, y'all. Y'all keep sending me all these pictures of the birthday cake bang. Like y'all are making this girl so jealous. I am so happy for you, but so jealous. And honestly, most of y'all that are sending me the pictures of the bang are telling me that you hate it and you cannot even finish it. Like you're throwing it out, the birthday cake bang. I don't know what to expect. Y'all know this girl loves me some birthday cake, wedding cake. So I think I'm gonna like it, but most of y'all are telling me that you absolutely hate it. So I guess I'm gonna have to go to a gas station or something to find it because I have not seen it in a grocery store yet. So you know this girl is on the hunt. Y'all are telling me you're finding it at Walmart, Target, all the places. I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna check my GNC probably too because y'all told me y'all saw it at GNC. So I've got all those stores, I just haven't seen it yet. So y'all know um, I'm late to the party as far as the bang flavors go. I don't know what it is down here, but we don't get the new flavors until super hella late. I'm going to pick up Weiwei. We are going home to test our ketones to see it, what our ketones are post-workout. I know it's gonna be super low that I'm expecting that. And as y'all are seeing that you can feel fine now when you work out, with your ketones okay so when you test your ketones after you work out they are supposed to go down because you are using your ketones ketones are what we use for energy so hopefully this video has educated y'all now as far as like your ketone levels what we use them for how we burn fat blah 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 y'all are seeing that if i eat a fat source right before i work out it boosts my energy level up and i can feel that y'all so if you're feeling like death if you're feeling like crud on keto and you've been on keto for a while you're not getting enough fat in your diet because you are using all your ketones that you have and you are running out of fuel in the tank so definitely eat something high in fat that's going to make you feel better post-workout ketones are always going to be low but i have even tested right before bed and after eating my ketones that went back up so don't think that you're not in ketosis y'all that just means you're burning hella amounts of energy and you are killing it this is an example of how we can't control what goes on at school so they gave Waylon a ring pop. So obviously I don't buy this kind of stuff for them anymore, but we can't control it. That's okay. As long as you are controlling what you're putting in your kids' bodies at home and out and about making choices, that's all we can control, right? So I know a lot of you are like stressing because at school they're eating things. Just worry about what you're doing at home. Right, Way? Say so we have treats every once in a while at school, right? Yeah. Show them your ring pop. Mm-hmm. You better enjoy it, boy. Post-workout ketones, 0.4. So it didn't go down too much, but just goes to show you that working out will lower your ketones. We're killing it, guys. It's taco night, so we're making 90-second taco shells with the cheese. Don't get triggered by the microwave, y'all. I'm just saying. Got some avocado. Here's one of my shells I'm letting get ready. So all you do is you put cheese, basically, I'm doing a fourth of a cup in the microwave on parchment, and then you set it between two objects to make it look like a shell. Learn this from my girl, Christy, that keto lady. You can make bowls too, we do that all the time. Yes, indeed, guys, get your taco shell on without the guilt. Look how perfect they are. Let's fill them up, Costco pulled pork. You seeing this goodness right here? So we got a whole avocado. We have one teaspoon of Taco Bell hot sauce because they have changed their formulation. I'm not happy. This one does not have maltodextrin, but just FYI, they have changed all their sauces except for the one in the like fatter jar to not have maltodextrin and it is carb based now. They used to not have carbs, now they do. Then I have two tablespoons of sour cream, some cilantro and one avocado. Yes, so good y'all. Make these 90 second shells. Oh, and I got everything but the bagel seasoning on the rest of my avocado. So pretty, I don't even wanna eat it. I got rowdy boys in the background, but that was freaking delicious, y'all. OMG, that pulled pork from Costco is a keto must. 
a keto must for $10, y'all. I mean, granted, you have to have other things with it, but on a budget keto, get that pulled pork. That's going to, you can eat on that all week, y'all, for real. It is so freaking good. You don't have to do any work for it. It is keto friendly and you can make so many meals as you've seen so far this week. I am loving it. I know this sounds trivial, but Trey just ate like two bites of banana. Like it's in his mouth right now. And I know that's not keto friendly or a low sugar, but it's a whole food, y'all. And they look pretty bad. And that's a big deal for him with his autism. Whoop! Another mom win, another victory. Broccoli, bananas, this kid is on a roll, y'all. Morning. Happy hump day. Coffee this morning was on point, so I didn't do the Southern Wedding Cake. I did some hazelnut cake cups I got from Dollar General, and it paired so well with the chocolate collagen from Perfect Keto. I legit have gotten so many messages this week about collagen on Instagram. Y'all been asking me, what's your favorite? So apparently, uh, I'm not talking about it enough. I guess Perfect Keto's Collagen is my all-time favorite. I have tried other ones and they by far are my favorite tasting one. I did not take collagen all throughout the summer as y'all watched. I was doing bang most of the mornings prior to my workout. Could definitely tell a difference in my hair. So I never had any problems with hair loss at all because I took collagen from the very beginning of my keto journey back in January. But stopping this summer hair loss like crazy. So y'all have always sent me messages about that. And I'm like, what hair loss? What the heck? I never had any issues with that. And that was because of the collagen. So when I stopped taking the collagen, I could definitely tell. And y'all since starting the collagen back, I have noticed a dramatic difference. My hair is not falling out and I am noticing hair regrowth already. So definitely do the collagen from Perfect Keto. Y'all ask what my favorite flavors are. Gotta be vanilla and chocolate. I tried salted caramel. It is good, but it's not my favorite. So vanilla and chocolate. Get you some collagen. I always have a 15% coupon code down below. I hope y'all took advantage of that 10 off 40 last week. They're constantly giving me different promo codes, but the 15% off is always a good one. Outfit of the day before I forget. These pants are new from Old Navy. They're just like my khaki ones, and they are khakis. They're just black, and I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable. T is y'all know these ones from Target I love so much and then some flip-flops breakfast this morning we ate the damn berries of course with the lollies granola if y'all don't have that lollies granola in your life get it she is also releasing y'all a pumpkin spice one in two weeks so I am all about the pumpkin spice life and it used to be not my jam but I'm really loving it I just ordered a bunch of Jordan skinny syrups y'all I have a code down below for them too they've got all their pumpkin spice and everything nice line out this girl's going cray for fall we're getting ready and I cannot wait to get that pumpkin spice granola up in my life I know it's gonna be bomb so today is day three of the keto exercise challenge I am still feeling like crud from these allergies. Oh my gosh, it is so bad. And we're not going to the gym today, but we are going to kill an at-home workout of some sort. I'm gonna to try to get the boys involved if it's not raining. It's raining right now, even though it looks sunny, it is raining. So I don't know, we might have to just do something in the house. It's been kind of crappy as far as the weather goes. I've been wanting to get out and about with the kids this week for the keto exercise challenge, but weather has not been permitting. Come on now, mother nature, get with it. But we're still gonna do 20 minutes of some exercise sometime today. Hopefully I don't lose my voice by the end of the day. Let's get to Wednesday. Happy hump day. Lunch today is so good, y'all. It's these keto enchiladas. However, I'm on the hunt for a lower carb lunch meat. I just used like this one that was pre-packaged, but I know you can get some that are lower by Applegate. So I'll definitely try that next time because this right here is six net carbs. Now this cheese I'm using is by Borden. It is higher in carbs too. So I just have to next time I make this find some lower carb ingredients and then maybe we can have a little bit more. Y'all know I'm all about that life, but this is enough guys. It is filled with cheese. I've got cheese on top. You put this in the microwave, it melts up and it tastes just like enchiladas. It's so freaking good. Got another one of these Adele's chicken sausages. We're almost done with those. We had them on the grill. That is lunch for Wednesday. You know this girl went back and got that damn coffee before it went off sale because I'm addicted to it. What is my life, y'all? I like something, I get addicted to it and I just want to keep drinking it or eating it a million times and never get bored of it. 
Oh my goodness. So today was the last day for the coffee to be 4 dollars and I picked up that salted caramel one too by PJ's. Those coffees are regular price, like almost $10. Like someone is crazy if they pay $10 for coffee, but this girl paid $4.97, so that's what I did. My voice is even more gone, oh my gosh, from talking all day, the same thing, six times straight, the struggle is real. I didn't even have time to show you my snack, so I did eat a nut butter. I was going to um, eat a beef jerky stick instead, but I had this on my desk and this just looked more appealing to me. And I need something with some high fat content. I'm feeling like sluggish throughout the day and I can't wait until three o'clock. So I actually ate this at like 1.30 and it picked me up y'all. I need a fat bomb sometimes and that definitely gives me energy. It fuels me and lets me keep going. Right now I feel so much better as far as energy than I did like right after lunch. So I don't know if I'm not getting enough fat at lunch and I gotta assess what's going on. I don't know. But this girl needs some energy in her life. So it's 540. We're not even home yet. We still got to go home and work out for day three of the keto exercise challenge. If it's not raining, it's so dreary. Me and the kids, I might get the kids involved today because I've been wanting to do some stuff with the kids, but the weather just has not been permitting. But this girl is starving. My stomach is growling. My stomach, since doing keto, I can say honestly that my stomach does not growl that much as far as me like being in hunger beast mode, but I'm in hunger beast mode right now. So we're going to have to get this 20 minute workout pumped because I'm ready for some food. Testing ketones at six o'clock y'all. We're about to go work out. 0.9 highest I've been all week. And I definitely think that I've got to get more fat in my diet. So this definitely, I love using the Keto Coach Monitor because it helps you know what's going on with your body. And when I was not having something, you know, like mid-afternoon as far as a fat source or something, my ketones were low because I was draining all energy, guys. I use so much energy at work, it's crazy. So yes, definitely gonna start implementing a like 1.30, two o'clock fat bomb or some type of snack because I definitely need it to keep me going. Getting the family involved today, y'all. Come on, Trey. <laughs> so it's not gonna be my full like on workout, but I'm enjoying time with the kids and we're moving as a family. Let's go. We made it back from our 20 minutes of exercise and nobody died. It was a good time. And look what mama is busting out. I have not used this. I bought it weeks ago. It is a waffle bowl maker by Dash. We're making some bowl chaffles for something delicious. Post workout ketones went up. Whoa, surprising. <laughs> That's crazy because usually they always go down, but now we went up. So mm -hmm, you never know with these crazy ketones, y'all. But I'll take it. Highest number I've seen yet. So this is the chaffle bowl as it came out. Perfection. I mean, it is crispy, it is all ready to roll. Oh, this might be dangerous, y'all. Sloppy Joe waffle. <laughs> Chaffle bowls. <laughs> I don't even know what to call them. This is the Sloppy Joe recipe from the Southern Keto Cookbook. I prepped over the weekend. I made the chaffle bowl, two tablespoons of sour cream with some parsley on top. Oh man, this is going down. It looks bomb. The only way to eat Sloppy Joes going forward is in a freaking chaffle bowl. Guys, I'll have that link down below. Epic is all I'm gonna say. Delicious. You gotta have it. It is bath time. I'm going in with a cinnamon smart cake, the one we had left over from the other night, and about a tablespoon of the Just Made Keto frosting, buttercream frosting, zero net carbs, in and out this night. Dinner and dessert were delicious. Happy hump day, y'all. Y'all have been asking for me to share more of the boys' food. So for lunch tomorrow, Trey is eating a low-carb tortilla with legendary foods, nut butter. This stuff is so good, guys, but it can add up quick. But it is delicious, so he's got a little bit of nut butter. No jelly. The kids don't eat jelly anymore. Just bread, tortillas, and nut butters. That's all they eat. Some Magic Spoon cereal. This is a cinnamon one, y'all, and it is so freaking good. Like, I haven't eaten a whole bowl of it yet, but I've tasted this one and the chocolate one so far, and they are so freaking amazing. They are expensive, but it's worth it, guys. So he's got some Magic Spoon, some pears. This is his breakfast, which is half of a Quest Bar, and it's got sprinkles on it. Those are Stoka Bar sprinkles. These are sugar-free sprinkles, y'all. If you put a sprinkle on anything, the boy will eat it, okay? He has never even attempted to try the keto waffles before. I put a little sprinkles on them, 
and the boy ate the whole thing. So these are like my magic <laughs> for Trey to try new things, okay? And they're not bad, so that's why we use them. And that's what gets him to use certain um, Quest bars he doesn't really like, but he'll eat them if they've got a couple of sprinkles on them. I know, gotta do what we gotta do. And then we've got some of these Avocado Ranch Way Better chips that I bought from the Dollar Tree. He won't eat this entire bag. He'll just eat a few of them, and then his teacher will save the rest for the next day. So that's what he's gonna be eating for lunch, y'all. morning happy thursday outfit of the day because mom brain is real this top is from wally world i absolutely love it these pants i got from jc Penney's like five years ago and they still fit but they're they're baggy in the waist i will be honest i'll be pulling them up all day and i got new sandals from tarjay earrings are from wally world y'all this morning i had that salted caramel iced coffee omg so good with the salted caramel collagen from perfect keto like i'm so dumb like <laughs> i'm like girl why have you not been pairing up the collagens with the right coffees from the beginning I don't even know but that's why I was like it just came to me all of a sudden like that's how dumb I am I'm like um this should be paired with this this should be paired with that so the salted caramel PJ's coffee I got from Rouse's yesterday paired so well with the salted caramel collagen of course we had the lollies granola and the damn berries so freaking good y'all I'm obsessed with the damn berries I'm obsessed with that lollies granola it is delicious if you have not bought it you need it in your life. And like I mentioned, I think yesterday, she's got some pumpkin spice one coming out. I'm like, I can't wait. I am obsessed. So I just want to take this morning to thank you guys. I want to thank each and every one of you for always coming back here to these videos, to all my videos that you click on and watching and supporting me and showing me love, leaving nice comments, sending me DMs over on Instagram. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you know how genuine and sincere I am with that and that I appreciate each and every one of you. You're the reason why I'm here. You're the reason why my channel is still up and going is because I'm making the content for you guys because I know you enjoy it. You come back each and every time and give me the support. And that's why I do this um, on the side of being a full-time working teacher and mom is because I'm passionate about it. I've been passionate since the first day I started three years ago and I continue to be passionate about it and try to help and inspire others. So that is my drive but you guys are my motivation so thank you so much and this is stemming off of that video I just posted actually for me last night on why I stopped couponing so many comments on that video about I'm sticking with you I would never unsubscribe and this and that and I thank you so much and if you're one of the people that are watching this video you're one of those people that I'm referring to however posting that video I had a ton of people leave and I expected it and it's just crazy how some people are it's like if you're not doing for them they don't even care it's so crazy I don't know about y'all but when I watch people on YouTube people that I really love and watch like y'all said in those comments, like I watch all their content and support everything that they do because I love them as a person, as an individual. We are people on the other side of this camera. <laughs> We're not just robots. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. Lunch today is the rest of that pulled pork dip for two. That stuff is so bomb, y'all. OMG, I love this dip. It is so good. It would be great to make like in a big batch for like a party or football games. Yes, this would also be great for the same exact thing for parties or football games. These are really good. Remember I told y'all the other day, I was like, if they're not good, I'm not going to eat them because this is just three net carbs for two. So delicious and so easy just to throw in the bacon in the mixture instead of wrapping them. I know some of them you can wrap them, but sometimes we ain't got time for all that. And then my cucumbers are looking pretty sad, y'all, but I'm eating the rest of a cucumber that I had on hand before it went bad. And that's about 12 slices and it's so delicious to dip with the pulled pork dip. So I already destroyed my perfect keto bar from earlier and I was teaching, so I wasn't able to show it to y'all, but I'm about to bust into this bang star blast, hex to the yes, need me some caffeine in my life. And guess what, y'all? Just a little FYI, we got a new shipment of Rebel new flavors being shipped to the house as we speak. This is good times over here. It is a good day. Testing my ketones. Let's see what it says. I did drink a bang. 0.7. All right, so 0.7. 
Um, some people have said that the bangs affect their ketones. I haven't noticed it doing a big effect. I took my ketones after drinking one one time and it was like 1.5. It was something crazy. So I don't feel like it affects me, um, but I did have the perfect keto bar. But I definitely have to eat some fats, y'all. So if this is a lesson, if you're feeling like crap and you have no energy, up your fats. I said that in the beginning of my journey and I'm seeing it now with trying to go higher protein as well. Definitely got to get that fat game on. Even if it's over your allotted amount, I don't even care about that because fats and calories, unless you're trying to lose an extreme amount of weight, and even then it's still going to come off. Don't worry about that. Just worry about the net carbs. That's all you have to worry about. And 0.7 pre-workout. Let's get it. I got this new power. Feels like I'm Life. We're going into GNC to see if we can find this freaking birthday cake bang. What am I doing? Winning. One happy camper. This crap better be good is all I gotta say. It's about freaking time is all I gotta say. What the actual heck? Finally found this like weeks later. Y'all have all been sending me pictures. Rubbing it in. Thank you though for doing that because you've got me off my butt searching. GNC had it. I hadn't checked any gas stations. None of my grocery stores have it yet. But GNC said they had like 10 cases of this. They're like, we have an overabundance of it now. So if you need more, come in. I just got two because I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I didn't want to get one and love it and have to go back. You know, the struggle is real. Oh my gosh. Y'all have got to get in the gym or work out. Y'all working out with the boys yesterday, just taking a 20 minute walk. Y'all saw my ketone levels and I felt amazing the rest of the afternoon get up and move it doesn't have to be anything long 10 minutes 20 minutes an hour if you have time but just get off your butt and do something and i encourage you to have the whole family get involved because like i said it was so nice to be able to walk with the boys and let them get some exercise because y'all know kids today they sit in front of their tablets i know my boys do or they sit in home and watch tv and they're not as active as they need to be so we need to set an example we need to be role models for our kids and as i was walking with trey he was killing it i know that he could do more. So I'm like, you know what? He's six years old. He needs to be walking and running faster than this. I mean, showing him as an example, he's going to see mommy doing it. He kept on trying to catch up with me, y'all, because I was running ahead of him and he kept trying to catch up with me. So we are examples for our kids, y'all. They are watching everything that we do, whether we think they are or not. Be an example. And you could be an example just for going out and taking a 10 minute walk. Go walk around your backyard. Go do some sit ups. Do something, y'all. But we've got to set examples for this generation because it is an epidemic. It really is with obesity in the United States, especially with the standard American diet and with kids sitting in front of video games or just sitting at home and not being active. If they see us doing it, they're more prone to do it themselves. <sighs> What the actual heck? We got the Rebel flavors. All right, so this is old. So that came with the sampler thing. But we've got Cherry Chip is new. This is what I've been waiting for. What the actual heck? I thought it was open. I was about to get mad. Salted caramel. My mother-in-law put these in here for me, if you're wondering, when I was at work. Coconut almond swirl. We're looking forward to that. Triple chocolate. Cookies and cream and black freaking raspberry. You know what, y'all? The struggle is real because I don't have enough room to try tonight with my macros. What is my life? Oh, I want to eat it so bad. Maybe we should just skip dinner and eat this. No, that would not be good times. All right, so I'm going to indulge in this over the weekend. So you might have to wait until next vlog to see our thoughts on the new Rebel. But you know, this girl had to have it in her life. So yeah. I spent the money and I bought it. Not sponsored by Rebel. They do not give me anything, y'all. All right? I pay for everything out of my own pocket because it's that damn good. So do it. Do it now. Order it. What are you doing? Stop watching me. 
Go order some now. Tested my ketones post-workout, and we went from a 0.7 to a 0.5, so still in ketosis, still killing it. Dinner, tacos, pulled pork tacos are delicious with some fresh cilantro, everything but the bagel seasoning on the rest of our avocado just really makes the flavor pop. Crushed it. Does a double rainbow mean that it's gonna be a good day, y'all? It's Friday, and this is crazy. TGIF, y'all. My voice is still cray. I've got to get this crud out of my chest, y'all. What is my life? Outfit of the day, fueled by coffee and ketones. I got this shirt off of Etsy. I'll link it down below. Y'all always ask me about this shirt. Love it, love it, and it has lasted a long time. Pants are from Old Navy and flip-flops from Old Navy as well. We like to dress down on Fridays as we are keeping it casual at work. Breakfast this morning, y'all saw I had the chaffles and some eggs and some chalk, zero maple vanilla throwing stuff. Syrup, it was so freaking bomb, y'all. I put the chaffles in the air fryer. I learned that hack from Dat Keto Lady. She's my girl. I'm always learning something from her. And they crisp up so well. So don't put them in the microwave. Put them in an air fryer. I put them in the air fryer for five minutes on 400 degrees. So crispy, so great. I'm gonna do that with my regular waffles as well. The ones that I make from the Southern Keto Cookbook, I've been putting them in the toaster and they don't crisp up as much, but I think the air fryer will do the trick. So thanks girl. Y'all, this Southern Wedding Cake Coffee is life. You've got to get that in your life by PJs. Oh my gosh. It is like dessert for breakfast that you're drinking. It is so freaking decadent and so good. Can't recommend it enough. This has been the week for the different coffees and the different treats, right? We've just been living our best keto life. Speaking living our best keto life, it is Friday, and I am going to track my macros a little bit, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I am ready to bust up into that Rebel ice cream. I know it's not going to be within my macros today after we go out to eat, but this girl does not even care because it's the weekend, and I've got to try one of them in this vlog for y'all. Y'all know y'all will be seeing them all over Instagram and all over the other vlogs, but we've got to try it because this girl cannot wait. I was drooling last night over them. I wanted to bust in one so bad, but I was like, no, try to be good today, girl, and just savor the weekend. That's what I do, y'all. I actually don't stay within probably 20 net carbs over the weekend. Some days I do, some days I don't, but I don't, I don't count, so I don't even care. Like, I still keep everything keto and eat keto. It's just I eat a little bit more than I would during the week, and I enjoy myself. A lot of people carb cycle, so they will eat carbs over the weekend and then be strict keto during the week, and they actually see a lot of gains and a lot of progress with that. I kind of do the same thing, but I don't go off plan if that makes sense. So I cannot eat anything non-keto. Y'all saw what happened with me with the freaking stir fry. We ain't doing that again. I will eat more carbs than I allow myself during the week. And you definitely see that on Monday and Tuesday. Like my ketones are pretty low, but then we come back into ketosis. And I really do think that the carb cycling does help when you're trying to gain muscle, especially. I've seen a major difference in my body. Not only that, forget the carb cycling. We just like to eat too much around here and we're just going to eat more carbs on the weekend. That's all we're doing. All right. Don't judge y'all. Don't judge. So it's Friday. I'm super happy this week is over with. <laughs> it has been a shorter week, but I'm just always looking forward to the weekends. Spend time with the family, rest, relax a little bit, do my meal prepping on Sunday. So looking forward to it. I think we have an idea of where we're going to go out to eat tonight, and I cannot wait to share it with y'all later. Lunch today is the rest of my keto enchiladas. I love these things. I'm going to make these like as a big batch maybe one time for dinner and do like some Mexican cauliflower rice on the side and have like a Mexican keto night. That would be bomb. Last of my chicken sausages from Costco. Well, out of work. Whoop, whoop. Y'all been waiting for my review of the birthday cake bash new flavor bang i busted it out during my break let me tell you my thoughts when i first took a sip i was like "Ooh, this is gonna be good it tastes like birthday cake but the more you drink it the more sick to my stomach i got i do not like it at all so y'all know bang is my jam and i will usually guzzle down a bang in 10 seconds it does not take me long to go through a bang usually I have been sipping on this since one o'clock and it is almost four. I still have almost half a can left. I just can't. It tastes super artificial to me. It tastes like straight up icing, but not like real icing. I don't know. It just tastes very artificial birthday cake flavor to me. 
don't like it at all. I know a lot of y'all like it. A lot of y'all hate it, just like I'm saying I don't like it. And honestly, this is the only one I've tried that I cannot drink the whole thing. So that goes to telling you something that it's not that great. There are some that I'm not that favorable of, but I can definitely drink them all and get through them. It's a no-go, y'all. A no-go. And I bought two of these things. What is my life? The vlog last week. Y'all know we had a nine-scale victory with the jean jacket. And Old Navy, we're walking into right now, has them on sale for $15. It's like they were reading my mind, y'all. Winning. They had them in stock. $15. Whoop whoop, non scale victories on the cheap. So, we just got home and it is about six o'clock. We went and did our workout at Whole Foods and got our steps in at a couple of grocery stores. And we are at 0.7 for our ketones, and that is after that nasty birthday cake bang. So I should not be doing this because it is 9.30 at night and it's way too late to be eating a sweet. But y'all know, I cannot stay away from this. I've been dreaming about it and we gotta taste this stuff ASAP. So this is the one that I've been dying to try. So I'm going in with this one first. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen my review of the salted caramel. My new favorite. Y'all know I love the coffee chip, one of the old flavors. And I have a lot of new flavors left to try. But do y'all see that caramel swirl in there? This legit tastes like, I've said that about all the Rebel, it tastes like real ice cream and it is real ice cream. It's made with all real stuff. No artificial stuff, none of that crap that Enlighten's got going on. I know it feels like I'm bashing them. This stuff is real stuff, okay? I wanna show y'all. Here's the ingredients right here. Now the only thing that we can question maybe is the vegetable glycerin, but other than that, it is all clean. The stuff that Enlighten's using is bad for your gut health and not good. There is the macros on it. And I even talked to Rebel and they're like, yeah, we think that they're kind of, you know, stretching it as far as the net carbs and stuff like that. We're totally honest. We want to make sure that we're on front with what's in our packaging and in our product. They're an amazing company, not sponsored. Don't get any discounts with them. Pay for all this with my, with my money. I promise you. And y'all know I only keep it here real and recommend Y'all get this in your life. If you can find this at your store, pick up this one. If you love like a vanilla caramel flavor and swirl of caramel, OMG. Hex to the yes, living our best keto life. What you got, Trey Trey? You said waffles. Waffles. Keto waffles. Oh. You're not making a mess? No. Okay. Mom life at its finest. No leftovers left behind. Our food for that matter. Y'all know we don't play. Finally able to talk to y'all, what the actual heck. Y'all been able to see pretty much almost my entire Saturday. Excuse like the broom in the background, like what the actual heck? My life y'all, my life. Y'all been able to see most of the day today. Usually I end the vlog pretty early on Saturdays, but it has been so crazy. We picked up groceries, actually posted my grocery hauls and I start doing that on Saturdays with like healthy budget tips all in one instead of doing multiple videos, it just makes sense. I've been washing clothes, doing mom life, it has not stopped. Y'all can relate out there. Y'all can relate. So a couple of things real quick, y'all. Let's put the weigh-in up today. So we pretty much stayed the same for the keto exercise challenge. However, I am seeing so many differences in my body as far as muscle mass goes. I definitely think that by me tracking and knowing what I'm putting in my body 
and not worrying about really the fat and the protein, but just keeping an eye on it is definitely helping me with my muscle gain and not going over my carb countage and making me stay in ketosis and all that good stuff. Y'all see here on the weekends, we do splurge a little bit. I do believe in the carb cycling a little bit, so I do stay keto, but I just eat a little bit more carbs. I usually just, as y'all see, 20 net carbs throughout the week, so we go up a little bit, and we just enjoy ourselves a little bit more too in the process, but I do think that helps with muscle gain, if you're strength training and all that good stuff, I've seen so many people do the same thing and they're having remarkable results. So awesome week with the Keto Coach Challenge. So thank you so much to Keto Coach for always doing these amazing challenges and keeping us accountable. And thank you to so many of y'all out there that participated in the exercise challenge with me over on Instagram. Y'all were tagging me and all that fun stuff. So I love, love as a community, just you know, challenging ourselves and lifting ourselves and supporting and motivating ourselves. And that's what these vlogs are for. So again, I hope that they are motivational and helpful in that way and getting you through the week, getting you through your day, getting you through your hour, whatever the case may be. I hope that my words help in some way um, and help you stay the course, whatever your health journey is. I do wanna mention that this vlog is a collab with my sweet friend, Daniela Diaries, okay? So if you're not following her on YouTube, Oh my gosh, y'all have got to go and follow her. If y'all like seeing what I eat in a day, that girl is on fire. She posts a video pretty much daily on what she eats in a day, like what she's got going on. And what I love about her is she keeps everything 100% real. Nothing is sugar-coated, y'all. She says it like it is, and if you like that, y'all know I keep it real too, but if you like that, definitely go and follow her. I'll have all of her information in the iCards above on the end slate down below in the description box. Go and tell her that I sent you. If you go over to her channel, definitely leave a fire emoji. Y'all know what I'm talking about, like the flame emoji, because that girl is on fire, and definitely she will know that you came from my channel. Also, I wanna say that we have a fun giveaway going on. Girl, you haven't had a giveaway in forever. Let's go. Y'all been seeing me make the pizzas on the outer aisle crust all week, and they are going to be giving away a $50 gift card to a lucky winner here on my channel. So thank you to Outer Isle for sponsoring a gift card for one of you guys out there. I'm so stoked about it because I love their products. They're amazing people. As y'all know, I only bring all the best here. I have been bombarded with so many companies, went to KetoCon, tried so many things. There's a lot of stuff y'all don't know about because it sucks. I only bring y'all the absolute best and Outer Isle is one of my best. So what do you have to do to enter the giveaway? Y'all know the drill if you've been with me anytime. You gotta make sure to like this video. You gotta be subscribed, girl, and share this video. Share it with a friend if they are wanting to start keto, if they're trying to lose weight, share it on Facebook, just share it somewhere. Definitely helps the video out, y'all. And leave a comment down below, any comment, it doesn't matter, but make sure to put a pizza emoji in your comment somewhere. All right, so when I go to pick the winner, it has to have a pizza emoji in the comment somewhere. It doesn't have to be about pizza, but you gotta have a pizza emoji because we've been making pizzas all week with the Outer Isle, so I thought that would be fitting. So again, thank you to Outer Isle. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, pizza emoji in the comment down below, and you will be entered. And make sure to watch next week's video on Monday to see who won the $50 gift card to Outer Isle. So thank you so much for watching out there. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank y'all so, so much. I love y'all so much. Like more than y'all know, I think that y'all think I'm lying or I'm bluffing when I say this. But again, I know I say Instagram all the time, but that's where we get really personal over there. And I think y'all know that I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I make time for y'all. I send y'all voice messages. I coach y'all through things. And I absolutely love it. Y'all are my peeps out there and I do anything for my peeps. So again, thank you for the love and support. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up whether you're entering the giveaway or not. And if you wanna subscribe, please hit that button down below. Make sure you're getting all your notifications so you don't miss a future video from me. Y'all stay the course out there, exercise, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, stay the course. If you cheat, it doesn't matter. Pick it up, stay healthy, keto, whatever you got going on. You got this out there. I'm always here for you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.